Hi guys, I'm Brittany and this is The Never Ending Reader and today I have my bookshelf tour. So I'm really sick. Um, you'll probably be able to tell in this video that I'm not breathing well, I'm not feeling well, but I wanted to get a video up for you guys because it's been a while and I asked you guys on Twitter if you would like to see um, like a tour of my book room or just my bookshelves and you guys said um, book room. There was only like three votes though, so no big deal. I mean, um, I'm sure I could have just showed you uh, just my shelves, but I am going to show you my whole book room. Um, something to know about my book room is it is very small, so all of the shots that I'm going to be able to get, um, like not everything is in the frame. That is because it is so small in here. Um, there's nothing I can do. I can't like stand back further or anything. It's just very small. Um, the Another thing you should know is I am not going to be showing you every single book. And what I mean by that is I'm not going to physically pull them out of my shelf, show you the cover, and say this is blah blah blah, written by blah blah blah. I'm just going to give you like kind of a view and I will probably just say like um, some titles as I go along and because the reason I'm doing this is because this is gonna be a long video regardless if I show you every book cover we will be here the rest of our lives um, and then I guess the last thing you should know is that all of my bookcases are not in my book room um, I have one two three big ones behind me I have a little one over here and then in my living room I have two more bookcases that I am going to take you out there and show you very quickly. Um, they're nothing special. Mostly one of them has like my classics and Stephen King's and Anne Rice's and stuff like that. So if you would like to see um, my book room, my living space, uh, this is where I read, this is where I do my homework, this is where my kids do their homework, Some, well sometimes they go in the kitchen. Um, this is like our quiet spot if one of us is feeling kind of bad, like having a bad day, or we're like, we deal with anxiety here. I do, my husband does, um, my son, he gets a little anxious and upset sometimes. Um, this is where we go. This is our like calm room. Um, the only thing in here are books and that's pretty much it. I mean, this is designed to be a safe space, a space that you can come and feel better. So I think that just about covers it. Um, when you see my reading chair, it will have two blankets on top of it. And that is because my puppy, um, Miss Fluffy, she sheds everywhere and it just so happens that this is her favorite room to sit in. Um, she likes the chair a lot. She sheds all over the place all the time so I have to keep the chair covered or my life will just be all dog hair which it kind of is already. I don't even know why I bother. So yeah uh, let's jump into this and I hope you guys like the video. Um, let me know if you see anything that you want to buddy read because a lot of the time I haven't read a lot of the stuff on these shelves and the reason for that is because before I started my booktube and my bookstagram I would donate everything I read. I would read it and then I would just get rid of it because I had already read it and if it wasn't like my favorite, um, if it was like a four star, three star, two, one. I didn't want to keep it. Um, I felt like other people could use it and I couldn't. Um, I had already read it. Why keep it? So I donated hundreds and hundreds. I've probably donated since January probably 300 books um, that I had either read or didn't feel like reading anymore. You know, I just, I blow through these things. Now I am holding on to the books. Um, just so that I can show them in videos if I need to like make a reference to a book. Um, so yeah, now I'm kind of holding on to them and yeah, so I hope that you like this. I hope that you like that my shelves are kind of 
on their way to being spooky because it is the first day of fall and I love fall. So yeah, uh, let's jump in. So this is my book room and it's really difficult to get a good view because it is so small in here. But there's my shelves and here I have another bookcase. And if I walk this way, this is kind of like my sitting area. And then my messy closet. And yeah, so I'm going to take you guys around. I'm going to start at the bookshelves and then um, just make my way around the room. And then I have two bookcases in my living room that I will also show you guys. So I'm going to start up here in this corner and um, probably just go this way. So let's get started. So this is my first shelf and up here I have my jellyfish. He was my favorite Beanie Baby as a child. And then I have my, my globe. And then here is my first um, shelf. I have, this is just something my son got me for Mother's Day and I keep my I'll create pins in it. And then I have some white books, Sylvia Plath. Hidden Figures, Commonwealth by Ann Patchett, Room, I really want to get to this soon. Um, let's see what else I have. I have, this is like some random fantasy book that I picked up. Um, the Black Dahlia, that sounds good, A List of Cages. Um, small Great Things, <laughs> fun fact, I used to love Jodi Picoult and I haven't read from her in years, but... I would like to give her another shot soon. Um, Dreamology. And I have a candle here. I believe this is like a... Let me see. Through the wardrobe, yeah. And then I have another candle. Um, the color purple. I need to pull that out more. Eat, Pray, Love. Girl Interrupted. And then I will swing you guys over to this shelf. So I have some yellowy brown tan books, but up here I have Nagini, and then a nice candle burning, and my Dementor, and then here I have An Ember in the Ashes, Rose Under Fire, um, I heard this one was good just recently. This is apparently something that kids read in school a lot, but I was never made to read that and it sounded interesting. I have a thriller by Tana French. Um, let's see. This is like a little deer and he just reminds me of a Patronus, so I kept him. I have, let's see, Nim's Island, um, The Pillars of the Earth. I've heard a lot about this. Marie Antoinette, I've been wanting to read this forever, but it's like huge nonfiction and it's like tiny Bible pages and yeah. Sherlock Holmes, The Never Ending Story, this is my favorite. I Am Legend, I might be reading that um, this fall, but I'm not sure. Um, I just picked this up a couple months ago and I've heard a lot about that, so I might read that soon as well. And then I have just a little Frankenstein there. So that is the shelf, and I'm going to swing you over here. Up here I have my Harry Potter characters, and I'm really short so I can't hardly reach up here, but it's the Gryffindor common room. Oh, there's my book light. I've been looking for that. And then down here I have some like reddish, orange, pink books, so... Here is my TBR jar. Well, it's actually a mug. There's tons of stuff in it. Oh, look. A little bookstagram prop that I have. So, I've been wanting to read these two pretty badly. Um, a Great and Terrible Beauty and The Winner's Curse. 
Chasing Vermeer. I remember reading this as a child a lot and I can't remember what it was about. And then this is something my husband made me a long time ago, many years ago, and I love it. And then I have the casual vacancy. I still haven't read that yet. Um, this is something I'm looking forward to getting to. It's an autobiography. No, I'm sorry. It's not an autobiography. It's just a biography. And then this is one of my favorite books of the year. And then Scythe, I still haven't read yet, but I really want to get to it. The Wrath and the Dawn. I really liked this when I read it, and I would like to reread it again soon, honestly. And then down here, I have Perfect Murder, Perfect Town. That's like a true crime novel. And then I also have a little chocolate rose that my husband got me years ago. And I did not eat it, clearly. So I'm going to take you down a shelf and go to blue. Here I have some mass market paperbacks. Um, got Sacagawea. This one I found at Goodwill. Um, I don't know much about it. What I almost forgot, this is one of the few Leanne Moriarty's I haven't read yet. Um, the Electric Kool-Aid Acid Test, The Nest. This has one of the most beautiful covers of all time. I love that. Duels and Deceptions, The Party. I hear about this a lot, but I don't know anything about it. <laughs> Someday I will get to it, I hope. Then I have a couple of middle grades here, as you can see. Um, two Titanic books. Oh, sorry, right there. I actually really love the Titanic, but it terrifies me. And then I have a little pumpkin there. And a couple more middle grade. So that is that shelf. If you guys are wondering where I got any of my um, fall decor, um, it all came from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to move you this way. Here we have Professor Dumbledore. Lord of the Flies there. We have The Kiss of Deception. The Doctor's Wife. This one looked pretty good. Um, Hatchet. I remember reading this when I was little. And also Hoot. And I would like to read them again soon. I just read Hidden and I actually didn't love it. This is a time turner that my Uncle Rod gave me. It is beautiful. I love it. I have Station Eleven, Pocahontas, um, Shatter Me and Shiver, which are two things that I really should read, but I'm not looking forward to reading because I remember trying to read both of them and hating them, but we'll see soon if I do like them. The School for Good and Evil here, a Margaret Atwood, I think this is called the Penelope or something, I don't know. And then I have Little Woman, Passenger, Fallen Kingdom. Got a little baby Groot and Snape. So now I'm going to move you to the left here, to my orange and red. Right here I have my little black kitty with her pumpkin. Um, got some middle grade here. Number of stars, I just read this again two months ago, I think. Um, and then I have Fever, 1793, The Sisters Grimm. Um, let's see. Ellen Hopkins books. I actually just got rid of a ton of them, and this is, I think, the only one I kept. And I have Inkheart, Flowers for Algernon. I loved this when I was little, and I haven't read it in, like, ten years. Another Jodie Picoult. Um, Memories Keeper, Memory Keeper's Daughter, Everything I Never Told You, The Curious Incident of the Dog in Nighttime, um, this down here is just a historical fiction. I think, I have no idea where that, what time period that actually takes place in. And then this is another TBR, um, thing, except that is just my Kindle books that I need to read. I have Life of Pi, The Past, Little Broken Things, You Are a Badass, the Unexpected Everything, Secret Life of Bees, 
The Wolf of Wall Street. I loved this movie and I hope that the book is good as well because that was like my favorite movie of all time. So there is that and I'm going to move you down a shelf. So here I have Firefly Lane by Kristen Hanna. I believe she did The Nightingale. Um, Where'd You Go Over and I Die? Another Jodie Picoult book. Um, His Dark Materials. Fun fact, I have never read that. I have a little Halloween snow globe. I have The Rest of Us Just Live Here, The Girl on the Train, um, The Iron Trial, A Child Called It. That was so sad when I read that. A Man Called Uwe. Got some Ann Patchett here again. And then Methland. This actually is a nonfiction. It looks really interesting. And then I have this little guy. I actually like this thing quite a bit. And now I'm going to move you over to the right. We're getting into some purple and black books. I have a candle burning, so I must be careful here. Um, here is another Jodie Picoult book. <laughs> Starflight, Tiny Pretty Things, The Forest of Hands and Teeth. This actually looks pretty spooky. Elias Grace by Margaret Atwood. Um, I think it's a Netflix show, actually. Then I have The Returned. Oh, the, the Returned, Don't You Cry by Mary Kubica, Artemis, The Devil in the White City, I think this is about murder, I would assume, um, Walk on Earth a Stranger, John Adams biography, uh, King Henry VIII, I have Yes Please by Amy Poehler, oh this doesn't belong here, my Stephen Kings don't go in this room, so I'll have to move that. <laughs> And then I have Miss Peregrine's, some Agatha Christie, The Bell Jar, um, A Clockwork Orange, Snow Like Ashes, The Giver, Cut. This book was garbage. I'm actually going to get rid of that. And then Looking for Alaska, Codename Verity, Hush Hush. And then I have this little pumpkin. And then I'm going to move you over again. Here I have Harry reading a book, which I believe it's Quidditch. Yes, it is, because Harry would never read a book unless it was Quidditch. So I have Pretty Girl 13, The Name of the Wind, another historical fiction. Um, a Madness So Discreet sounded really good. Go ask Alice. I remember reading that like a million years ago and I don't remember anything about it. The 100, I like the show. Right here I have my chocolate frog and some historical fiction. Here I have Manhattan Beach. This I got at a library sale. The accident season, the girl from everywhere. I have a Frankenstein snow globe, The Passage, The Book Thief, We Have Always Lived in a Castle. I actually really like this. And I liked the cover a lot too. I have a nonfiction, The Leftovers, Spiderwick Chronicles, Fight Club that actually does not belong up here. Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. So that is that shelf. Now I'm going to take you down a shelf and there is no method to my madness when it comes to the rest of these. The other ones were organized by color. These are organized by nothing. Here I have a little pumpkin, um, a book about the Lizzie Borden murders, a nonfiction about the Romanov sisters, Another Tana French book, Strange the Dreamer, The Love of My Life, 
The Hazelwood, The Book of Essie, Illuminae. I still need to read this immediately. I have an Owl Crate book. Um, I think this is a, what is this? Sci-fi, like Anastasia retelling or something. I have Ever the Hunted. This was garbage. I hated it. And then Cross Her Heart. I just got this for my book of the month. And then I have a little Illuminae candle. And then down here I have the Mistborn set, um, the Daughter of Smoke and Bone set. And then all of these are Philippa Gregory books because I am trash for her. So I'm going to move you over here now. Here I have a little mummy and I have a framed photo of Gilderoy Lockhart, not because I love him so much, but because I found this photo in this frame at Goodwill. Um, it might still have the sticker on the back. No, it doesn't. And I thought it was funny that somebody would go out of their way to film or er, to frame a photo of him. So I bought it and I've kept it. Um, here I have The Last Time I Lied. Ace of Shades by Amanda Foody. I actually really like this and I don't think many people did, but I loved it. Um, Love Letters to the Dead, To Kill a Kingdom, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Zodiac, I heard this is trash, but so am I, so I might like that. Daughter of the Pirate King, Ivory and Bone, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. This is my baby. I love this book. I have Sky in the Deep, Foolish Hearts, And I Darken, These Shallow Graves, White Oleander. I don't know what this is actually about, but I really liked the cover. I thought it was interesting looking. I have The Crowns Game, another one of these guys, The Luminaries, a nonfiction about Jim Jones, The Rose and the Dagger. And now I'm going to bring you down here to my Harry Potter books. So nothing special here. Just have my Harry Potter books in order. They're all mismatched. I don't have a box set or anything. These are just things that have followed me through childhood. Then I have the illustrated editions here and some random stuff there. Um, I have Fantastic Beast, The Tales of Beetle and Bard, a cookbook. So yeah, and then back here, like in the free space, I have some like other beaten up copies like these that I keep just in case. Now I'm going to take you over here. So here I have some just random stuff. I have some mass market paperbacks here. Um, I think this is true crime. I love Ender's Game so much. It's one of my favorite series ever. Um, Enchantress from the Stars, I really enjoy it as well. Um, Twilight Vampire Diaries. Look, guys, I have never actually read this, but I used to be Twilight Trash. Um, Wicked, I loved that when I was younger, and I haven't reread it in years. The Forgetting, these I got at library sale. The Maze Runner and the Kill Order, The Night Circus, The Cruel Prince, Children of Blood and Bone, The Glass Spare, The Truth Witch, Caravel, Fury Born, and then this. You can't really see it that well, but it's the thousandth floor. And then I have a little gourd. And then I'm going to bring you down to the last one on this wall. So down here I have, these are like some Chuck Palahniuk books. Um, he's really hit or miss for me. I liked a lot of stuff that I read from him years ago and lately I just have been reading, reading garbage from him. It's not been very good. And then these are all middle grade that I read when I was little and I loved. This is a giant stack of middle grade. Rascal, Because of Winn-Dixie, Surviving the Applebee's, I loved this. Mary Poppins, The Witches, Holes, Old Yeller, The Junkyard Dog, Bud Not Buddy, Ringer. Yeah, so, oh yeah, and this, 
I loved this when I was little. And I could not remember what it even is about now. And then here, standing up, I just have a couple more middle grade. And then here is just like a random assortment of books. Um, that's a graphic novel, The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making. I really liked that one. The Girl in 6E, I liked that as well. Queen of Hearts, that was kind of trash. Brain on Fire was fantastic. And I'm like literally in the middle of that and I lost interest and so I stopped reading it. So those are all the books on that bookcase. I will carry you around over here. Here is my wands. This one my husband made. And then this one came from Harry Potter World. Over here I have some art prints from All Crate. Here I have just my lamp, um, my candle, and then a salt candle. Then down here I have my box. This is my smelly box. Um, has all of my smell good things. So I have my carpet stuff, my candle melts, and then this is for my um, oil diffuser. And then this is my other bookcase. So the thing about this is it's always going to be changing. So up here are things that I would like to read in the Halloween season. As you can tell, they're spooky. And then these are things that I would like to get to immediately. So I will take you through here. Here's a little pumpkin. A lot of these you'll see on my TBR or you have already seen. House of Leaves. I really want to get to that. This is a day-by-day -day chronicle of the Salem Witch Trials. And then down here, I have, oh, the lighting's really bad down here. Um, these three I need to read immediately or I'm going to unhaul them. Um, everything from, let's see, everything from here, Alex and Eliza, to here, are just things that I would like to read um, as soon as possible. And then I have everything from Fires in the Dark over this way. Um, I need to read immediately or am I am going to get rid of them and unhaul them. So that's that. And then if you're wondering what this middle shelf is, it's just my um, makeup. I have some palettes there. These are my lipsticks. This is kind of like a box of everyday stuff that I use. And then this is like a little bag of, well, a large bag of makeup. So that is that bookcase. And if I swing you around once more to my chair, I'm sitting on the floor, as you can tell. Uh, here's my laptop. My dog is barking. So, since I'm sitting on my floor already, I'm just going to show you what's down here. Um, this is a basket of literally all of my notebooks and school books, my planner. So, that is what that is. I keep that there. Um, kind of in the crack right there, I have my purse and my mirror. And then, this is a bag of pens and stuff have some flashcards for my kids about the U.S. President. These are two movies that I would like to watch immediately. I have not seen either of them. And then these are some, um, this is a history book I've been reading to my kids. And then a science book I've been working with them on. And then in this middle shelf I just kind of have my essentials of like things that I use um, frequently. So if I'm like sitting here in this chair, I would have easy access to like my lotions. Um, I have a body butter, almond and honey. I actually really like that. Um, a quick perfume, a little sample lotion, some lip chap. Uh, this is like a nice lip oil. And then my lavender, which I use 
all the time because I have panic attacks nonstop, so I need to use that stuff. And then up here, I have a couple notebooks, um, a gratitude journal, a food planning journal, a book about Wicca, a book about conspiracy theories. These are my cards. I have, this is supposed to be hanging up. And then this is all of my bookmarks. And I just dropped some stuff. So then up here, I have my diffuser. In the corner there is my makeup brushes, um, a little leaf tin, and then my Hogwarts cup full of all of my school stuff. Calculator, pens, pencils, highlighters, headphones. And then I have an art print here from Alcott. This light up heart. <laughs> and then a bunch of little kitties for Halloween. And then the last things in here are these art prints up here from Alcott. And then my mirror and these little puffs. <laughs> And my old chair that I have to keep a bunch of blankets on because my dog is obsessed with it and she sheds everywhere. So that's the book room. It's small, it's hard to get a good shot, but you get the picture. Um, yeah. So I'm going to take you in the living room now. My kids are out there so they might be kind of loud. Hopefully they're not. And I'm going to show you quickly the last two bookcases. So this is my other bookcase in the living room. Just have a couple Halloween things. This first row is all Stephen King. Somebody colored on this, one of my kids. They're currently watching Rugrats, if you can hear that. And in the second row, I have all my Anne Rice books. I've got Lord of the Rings, some classics. And then on the bottom shelf, I have some series. Um, the Land, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, series of unfortunate events. Cinder, um, this is a Game of Thrones, I have my Gillian Flynn, the rest of my Ender's Game series, and then these are some more classic type books, um, most of these are my husband's. And now I will take you back to my last bookcase. So this is my last bookcase right here. It's right next to my couch. Up here I have my Game of Thrones dragon and pumpkin and stuff. Here I have Violent Ends, Broken Monsters, Witchwood, Glitter, the Diabolic. Furthermore, Dark Matter. Oh, that's another Ellen Hopkins. And then a tea light candle pumpkin thing that's really dirty. Down here I have my little ghost candle, some Kristen Hanna books, um, the Jane series, Librarian of Auschwitz, Since You've Been Gone, Out of Easy. This is a nonfiction about a polygamist. And then down here I have a Brandon Sanderson, Stags, When the Moon Was Ours. Um, Dread Nation, a Christmas anthology, The Empress, Nerve, Tower of Dawn, and Two Dark Rains. I just bought that. And then down here is just a mess. So in these doors I have some Jodie Picoult, some random series. Um, let's see, Uglies, Twilight, I have my Red Queen series right there, The Summer I Turned Pretty, Divergent, uh, Hunger Games, the rest of the Shatter Me series, 
and the only City of Bones books that I own. So that is it.